Hi there everybody, uh, I'm going to show you some micro lessons on the use of the numeral and uh, we're going to be starting with the basic number facts which kids need to learn. So children should have fluent recall of their operational facts to 30 by the end of level 2 which you might understand is grade 2. And I'm going to show you some of the uses with the numeral in respect to that. But there are many uses so we're only going to look at uh, just a few today. Now I will talk on counting on and combinations but I will mention zeros and doubles at some stage. Uh, we might use those a little bit further. Anyway let's get started. I want to show you what kids would generally do in a classroom. So if they're looking at their combinations say of, let's write a number down here, five, we will look at uh, one plus one two three four so we have one four making five and then two and three making five then three and two making five and then four and one making five and also five and zero also making five which might seem simple to you guys but for kids the uh, concept of zero can be quite difficult, so we do need to use it quite a bit. Now, if we were to use the numeral quickly to show our combinations of this, then this is how we would do it. So let's start with, uh, let's have a look at five, because we're thinking the number five. So let's press down one, and then we would have four. Then we'll go one, two, and then we'd have three. And then we go one, two, three, and then we'd have two. And then one, two, three, four, and then we'd have one and then one, two, three, four, five, and zero, okay? So there is, these are our combinations, addition and subtraction, very, very important. Let's just look at counting on here, because it's specific. So the children might be asked to do one plus four. So they would start with their one, and then they would add four on. One, two, three, four. So their combination obviously is one and four. It's great when they understand that because they would be able to do that as a mental strategy. But if they need a concrete aid, this is perfect for it. So we actually see the answer can be five. Just do one more of those. If the kids were to start at two, so we wanted to do two plus three, and we want to count on three, how can we get to that? So we start with one, two, and we add on three. One, two, three and you can see that they've got five. So you've got your concrete aid, and the kids are looking at the symbols at the same time. We don't really get that opportunity when we're using uh, these types of attribute blocks. So that's a bit of a double whammy, really. They're learning uh, you know, two things at once. Let's put that out. Let's quickly look at combinations of eight. I'll write that down there. So quickly, We've got one and seven, you can see that there. One, two and six. One, two, three and five. One, two, three, four and four. And then we can continue to go, which we sort of start repeating again. One, two, three, four, five and three. And then we've got six and two. And then we've got seven and one. And then we've got eight and zero. But looking at the strategy we try to teach kids uh, when we look at the counting on strategy, let's look at eight. So let's start with two plus six, and we'll find out what that equals. So we start with two, and we'll add on six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we come up with eight. So that's our counting on strategy, all right? Uh, it might be handy for you to understand that because that's what teachers will talk about a fair bit. I'll quickly go into 10. Okay, let me just rub this out. And we'll write 10 up here. And I'll just show you our combinations of 10. We've got one and nine. We've got two and eight. We've got three and seven. We've got four and six. And we've got five and five. And then we've got four, sorry, six and four, then we've got seven and three, then we would have eight and two, and then we would have nine and one, and then we'd have 10 and zero, of course. 
Now that makes sense to us. Sorry about the mess. Um, quickly, let's have a look at this. So we'll look at our counting on strategy straight away. So let's start with one. And what do we need to do to get up to 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Gives us 10. Very good. Let's do three plus seven. You can see that as one of our combinations. Start at three, add on seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the kids can see that they press down seven and they have three left over. Equally the other way around, you can press down, uh, you can press down three from up here, so that would be taken away, but you would see I've got three here and then I've got seven. We'll call that a turnaround fact, okay? So a very effective tool when you want to discuss what's going on when you're manipulating number. So that is, uh, there, there are combinations to 10 and that's what we're looking at today. Uh, you can see that it's concrete aid and the kids can see all the symbols, but they can do these strategies of counting on, which is, what it, uh, which is a strategy we use a lot in the classroom. Uh, and these are associated with our combinations. Um, Really, um, if we quickly talk about doubles, I mean, and, and the obvious one, if we're looking, looking at 10 particularly, uh, we can go, well, what is uh, double five? So we start with five, we have five more on. One, two, three, four, five, we'll come up with 10. So that's just a, uh, another combination of 10, if you like. Okay, so there you go. Uh, it's a really useful tool. I hope you got your buy one, and I hope it really helps your kids. We will extend uh, our basic number facts uh, into uh, extended edition into the teen numbers. And there's a lot of strategies in here that I will talk about and I'll in introduce them one at a time. So thank you very much for your time. Uh, I hope you buy a numeral and I hope you enjoy using it. Or oh, I hope your kids enjoy using it. Thanks very much. Bye.